Hello YouTube and welcome to Cue Balls Reef. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to build <coughs> my own protein skimmer for my 10 gallon budget nano tank. Got a couple empty bottles here, some clear tubing, one knife, one hole punch, drill bit, and then the usual suspects, an air stone, some air line tubing, all that fun stuff. So went to my local hardware store, bought some of this clear plastic tubing. First thing we're going to do, I'm going to kind of jam this down inside the top of the bottle got this inspiration from YouTube, watched a bunch of videos on people making one of these, so I thought, hey, if they can do it, so can I. The tubing you want to use, you got to make sure it's a tight fit, otherwise the sucker's going to leak. And I did test fit this at the store, and it is a super tight fit. So there you go. Now I'm not pushing this in very far because I want to be able to remove the lid whenever I need to empty it. So just kind of test fitting, making sure that that bad boy is all safe and snug. So since I've got this in here, what I'm going to do is I'll just turn this into the top. So this piece you're going to definitely want in there a lot further. I'm probably going to aim for about halfway, maybe a third of the way up into the bottle. Got that up into the bottle. Now this is going to be my collection cup. Bubbles will come up the tube and the foam will pour over inside of the collection chamber. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top off of this. Handy dandy knife here. So now here's my collection cup. Easy peasy. So far so good. I am going to save this lid because eventually I'm going to put it back on here and that will kind of help make sure that things aren't bubbling over and splashing over. So saving that. So now I'm going to use my PVC cutter. I'm going to cut this just so it will float down into this bottle. So they'll kind of be stacked on top of each other. Again, I'm not really going to put it down far into this so that when I need to, I can remove this top piece, dump my skim mate out, and put it back in place. So, PVC cutters. And now I have some extra in case I want to make another one. But I know it fits because I already did one in the top. So, just working it in. And there you go. So my air stone will be down here. Bubbling up. My foam will come out the top, spilling over into my collection cup. So my plan is I'm going to drill a couple holes for some suction cups. I'm going to cut the bottom off of this and drill a hole for my airline tube 
with my wooden air stone. So I did pick up some suction cups from Petco. They were a dollar. Got two of them. So what I'm going to do is drill some holes in the side here so that inside the tank it'll stick to the wall and not move. So you want this to be a snug fit so I'm just going to start with a pretty small hole here and kind of work my way up. And I can see that's not even going to be close. Nope, not yet. Need bigger. Alright, we are in. Suction cup number one. cup number two. So now I'm going to cut the bottom of this off. Okay. So my air stone is going to sit right in here probably about a third of the way up to create bubbles and hopefully that'll do the trick got my standard airline tubing this is a quarter inch so I pretty much know how big my holes gonna be with my handy dandy little hole punch here Now this guy, I like to kind of cut a little sharp angle here so that I can feed it through easily. Get rid of some of these shavings here. I need to I'll go a little bit bigger with the air stone but or with the hole but we're in so my wooden air stone will connect here and sit about a third of the way up which will make bu bubbles and foam go up into my collection chamber so one wooden air stone Connect that right to this. The nice thing about using a square bottle is you can square up your air stone and it's going to hold right in place. So I don't have to worry about it falling out. So there we go. 
Now I did have some of these old check valves laying around, so I will add that to my airline tubing. I do have an old air pump that I'm gonna try out. <clears throat> Make sure that that's the amount of bubbles that I'm gonna want. So there we go. One makeshift lid. Now if the foam comes up, it'll hit this and it's already kind of facing down. So it'll bubble over into my collection cup. So that's starting to take shape. Kind of looks like a skimmer. Alright, so here we go. We've already got foam. A little bit hard to see. But we are definitely working the way we should. Lots of bubbles. Somebody's taking a liking to the airstone, so what I'm probably going to end up doing is putting a little bit of foam at the bottom there just to keep all the critters out. So we got lots of foam being created. Coming up the neck as expected and flowing out the top into the collection chamber. I did add a little air control nozzle on this so that depending on how much or how little air I can control the airflow from the stone. So I'm sure this will take some tweaking, but I did add that on just to give myself a little bit of air control. <clears throat> and then depending on the height, if I slide it down in the tank a little bit more, I get more foam. And if I raise it up, I get less. So definitely have to toy with the height on this in order to get the best out of my skimmer. So yeah, there we go. Thank you YouTube. Gotta love it. Instead of paying hundreds of dollars for a skimmer, I made one for six dollars. Okay, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.